All right, guys, so looking at the front of the new C8 Corvette Z06, one thing becomes very apparent. Yeah. This thing needs some radiator grill guards ASAP. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. As you guys know, I have a pretty good relationship with the guys over at Scrape Armor, and today we're going to be protecting the C8 Corvette Z06 with their new radiator grill guards. Let's do it. You can see just how wide open these are. I mean, my entire hand will fit in there. And we got some bugs in there. Luckily, not much damage, if any, to the radiator fins, but I'm gonna fix those once we get the bumper off anyway. And then we're gonna go ahead and get that scrape armor kit set up in there because they really did some serious good, 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 good work to get that thing perfectly molded to the, the actual Z06. So we are ready to go as far as warranty and everything else is concerned. So first step is removing the bumper. Yeah, I know. A daunting task for something so small, but I'm gonna film as much of it as I possibly can to let you guys know how to remove this bumper and ease your conscience a little bit because it's not super difficult. And in typical scrape armor fashion, guys, these things are packaged really nicely. So you got your hardware pack here, and then of course the two guards on the top and underneath is the center guard. And of course your install instructions and all the rest of the hardware you're gonna to need to install it. But very well packaged, always a good time from Scrape Armor. They make some awesome stuff. The first step is gonna to be to go ahead and remove all the trim panels here. They all just pop out with some, a little bit of force, but they're all plastic clips basically. We need to gain access to the screws that are at the top here. and it gives you access to the T15s that we're gonna to need to remove on the top of the bumper. Next, we're gonna come under the car, guys, and we have a whole bunch of T15 screws that have to come out. So all the way down along here, all the way on the center part there, and in the front, all of these have to come out because these panels actually will pull out so we have access to the bolts that are underneath it. And some of them on the center part here are seven mil uh, bolt heads as well. So you'll need a T15 and a seven millimeter socket to get all of them out. So with all of the panels removed from underneath, like I said, a lot of T15, a lot of T7 screws, we're then gonna go ahead and remove these T7, or seven millimeter screws, sorry, right here, right here, right here, right there and right there. And this is on both sides. This is kind of a support for the front and the front splitter specifically. So those all have to come off and it's the same exact setup on both sides. After you're done at the bottom, we're gonna come into the inner fender well here. We're gonna remove a couple more T15s on each side. So once the bolts are out of the fender, we're gonna come up in the fender well there and you can see that electrical connector on the passenger side and driver side, we need to undo that electrical connector. There is also a seven millimeter bolt that will be right there. So right where the bumper splits from the fender here, there's a seven millimeter nut that goes, or bolt that goes right there. So after you get the electrical connectors on both sides, you can actually just grab the, the bumper here and pull it out and it will decouple basically from the fender here. We're gonna do the same thing right here, pull up, and it will decouple from there. And then we should be able to just pull the bumper straight off of the car. Pretty good evidence here of why you need radiator grill guards, guys. Check this thing out. That is a, <laughs> this is a dragonfly. That thing's freaking huge. Look how big that is. And then of course, all the bugs here, all the rocks that could have gotten in here. They're all kind of just stored right there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yep, radiator grill guards. Still alive. Uh, yeah, no, that's why you need them right there. I mean, that is a big bug. All right, so next we were just taking the provided alcohol swabs and cleaning everywhere that we're going to be putting a bracket for the scrape armor. So right here gets cleaned, right here gets cleaned all along the bottom of the center grill, on the side, on the top of the center grill, and then on the bottom and bottom right there again. So we just cleaned it up with some alcohol and now we're about to hit it with some adhesion promoter so we can start sticking the actual brackets in place that will then have a clip that pops through to hold the grills in place. So first step after we wiped everything down and then we also put the adhesion promoter all along here and it, it's funny because it's super sticky, but basically we're gonna take these two brackets you can see there's arrows on the center part there. It's actually gonna to point to the center. Now these have a little key or a little notch in them that will actually fit right 
into place here. You can feel it, it kind of locks into place and then the tape would go down right there. So we'll do that one first. So we'll kind of put it at a little bit of an angle, get it locked into place first and then push it down. And then we're gonna hold it in place for about 10 seconds for it to lock into place permanently. And then we'll move on to the next one and do the exact same thing. So again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that arrow right there is pointing towards the center of the bumper. And again, we're gonna kinda of come up here, feel it in place first and then push it down and hold it for 10 seconds. Once the bottom brackets are in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the top ones in. Again, you're gonna grab the one that has this little wing on the side, make sure that arrow is pointing towards the center and it will actually fit right on top. So you'll see it fits right into place right there. That doesn't lock into anything like the top ones, but the little wings on both sides will go right around the existing grill piece. And just again, to show you the other side, just so you have a better idea what I'm talking about, see the, the wing here and the wing there, it'll go right around this honeycomb shape right here. Just push it all the way against the bumper and then just lock it into place by holding it for 10 seconds. All right, so the next side will go right up against here on the bottom part of the bumper. So this angled uh, stop right here will go right against there and fit almost like a puzzle piece. Go right up against there and then just like that. And then you'll just pinch and hold till the tape sets. And you can't misinstall this. Literally, bracket goes right there and it's ready to go. And then rinse and repeat. Yep, same on the other side. Scrape Armor makes this so easy, you literally can't mess it up because it goes right against there and then the tape holds it right in place. All right, so next is gonna be the left grill. This is gonna be the piece we're gonna use. So there's three holes in it. And on the right, you can see there's a little arrow pointing to the what would be the center of the bumper. Now, there is a notch right here you can see that, that notch will actually fit into right past this notch right there. So there's a little notch right there that that notch I just showed you will fit around. That's how you're gonna know you got it in the right place. So we're gonna put that notch into place first like that and then slide this whole thing back and then press it down. How'd you get three hands? <laughs> So the notch will go right around the built-in notch. You can see just like that. And yep. then it will, the whole thing will slide underneath everything else and get taped down. When you use adhesion promoter, that stuff is no joke. The stuff sets really quickly. So again, all three set up there with that little notch right there, both sides ready to go. Next we'll do the bottoms and then we are pretty much done with the brackets. That's about it. And then we'll start snapping in the actual grills. So next is the two hole bracket. You can see again, the arrow right here that is pointing to the center. So this one's going to go on the bottom side of the left part of the grill here. So again, pointing center. Now this center bump here is going to actually go right in between here. So all these little cutouts will go right around the clips coming through the front of the bumper. So we'll slide it underneath and then that part will actually lock into place right there again and then we can just kind of push it down. So Scrape Armor is really good with adding these like hex keys to make sure that the placement cannot be wrong. Regardless of how you do this install, the front bumper does have to come off so it will be exactly the same as we're doing here. Same thing for the other side, we're going to come in here, kind of push up on everything so tape doesn't touch by accident because like I said, this. Adhesion promoter is no friggin' joke. Until we can get it into place enough to make sure that that key fits in and you could kind of see it just pop into place right there. So now we can push down, lock it down. Again, the key right here slides right into a, a slot that's there from factory. We're ready to install the center part. Now, if you look at this again, Scrape Armor does a really good job with uh, putting little rubber isolators on anything that's gonna to touch metal on metal to avoid any kind of rattling or any kind of crazy sounds or rust. But anyway, we're ready to install this. So we'll just slide the bottom part in first then push the top down. And you can see all those holes line up pretty much perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and take the supplied push clips and that's what holds all these in. So we'll just pop them into place like so.
Look how sturdy that's in there. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Double-sided tape holds that well. Now, obviously my bumper is upside down, but I wanted to point something out to you guys so you don't make the same mistake I did. When you put these pins in, which would be the top of the center grill, you wanna make sure that they're put in with the pointy part facing down, so like this. So if you put them in the other way, the pointy part here would be facing up towards the top of the bumper. It will actually interfere with the rubber part of the front bumper, which is right there. So this part of the front bumper right here will be hit by those pins if you put them in upside down. So make sure you put them in this way. Now, like I said, my bumper is upside down. So just take this and flip it. Basically put these from the top down. Then we're gonna go over and do the right side bracket here. The bumper is upside down, so that is the right. And again, just a bunch of push clips. These things install really well. I'm, I am always very impressed with the way that Scrape Armor has manufactured these things to install in such a, an awesome way. And then we'll just put in the top ones here. And again, those hold so well. So of course, it has started to rain in Pennsylvania fashion, but we're gonna go ahead and get the bumper put back on. It was definitely not harder, but more time consuming to remove the bumper than it was to install the kit. The kit is very, very, very thoughtfully laid out and you pretty much can't mess it up. So big thumbs up to Scrape Armor. They really nailed it with this kit. All right guys, so obviously everything is done at this point, but I just wanted to take a minute and talk about the scrape armor and look what it did look what it did it stopped that bug from getting on my radiators but of course it's not just for bugs it's for rocks as well but of course we got all of the Sagala kit and everything done but I wanted to really show you guys what this kit does now obviously I have my license plate plastic here removed and the scrape armor does cover all the way up to the top so it will allow that extra airflow the extra appearance and it will make sure that you don't get a bunch of rocks and bugs stuck in there. So as usual, huge thumbs up to Scrape Armor. They really knock it out of the park. Their kit is absolute perfection. It fits so well, it's not even funny. You almost have to try to mess it up. It literally fits in place so well that it would be hard to not get it perfectly aligned. But either way, guys, one more time, just really taking a nice look at this. Yeah. I really like the way it looks to it. It helps darken out the radiators a little bit, which is kind of good on a black car, of course. But yeah, as usual, big thumbs up to Scrape Armor. They make really good products. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so we can keep doing this kind of stuff for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to answer. And subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. I got a ton of content coming with the C8Z06 that you're gonna definitely wanna see. And I'll catch you in the next one.